Washington. Mr. President, I want to thank Leader Reid and Chairman Baucus and uh, Senator Schumer, Senator Stabenow, Senator Wyden, Senator Brown, and Senator Menendez all for coming to the floor to talk about this important issue, uh, issue of tax extenders and why we need to get them done now. Uh, in Washington, the state of Washington, taxpayers are opening the morning's newspaper to find the Seattle Times editorial, Congress should extend the sales tax deduction. The Seattle Times has been following this issue for years and knows that taxpayers are waiting to find out if that we can continue to deduct our sales tax from our federal income tax obligation. Being a state that doesn't have an income tax, we want parity with other states and we want to be able to deduct our sales tax a form uh, of those taxes from our federal tax obligations. And every year, millions of Washingtonians uh, have to wait to find out whether that particular tax provision is going to be extended. I want to make it permanent, and I hope that when we do tax reform, we will be able to do this. But in the meantime, we got to give the certainty to the taxpayers in Washington state that these important tax policies that Congress can act and get things done. So I'd like to uh, submit for the record that particular editorial. At New Year's, uh, as the ball drops in Times Square, a number of other tax provisions are going to expire. And the lapse of these important tax provisions make it harder for Americans to invest in clean energy, to hire veterans, to pay for public transportation, and to build low-income housing. Like my colleague Senator Brown was discussing, the tax extenders of 2013 is about providing predictability and certainty to the citizens and to American businesses about what our tax benefits and investments. On January 1st, the commuter tax benefit will expire. That means that an increase in household expense for 2.7 million public transit commuters. In King County, uh, which is the county that Seattle is in, more than 1,600 workers use the commuter tax benefit to enable employees to get to and from work. And if you've ever been in the Puget Sound area, you know that transportation and traffic are big issues for us, so obviously trying to defer some of that traffic congestion by getting people into commuter transportation is a key part of our strategy. But if we're taking away the certainty and predictability of tax deductions on this, we're just going to make our transportation problems worse. On New Year's Day, the tax benefit for, for those employees who take public transit will be cut nearly in half, from $245 to $130 per month and we need to extend this benefit as a matter of tax fairness. Transportation is the second largest expense in an American household, and American families should be able to choose whether they want to drive or take public transit, and they shouldn't be punished because they're taking a bus or ferry uh, or train. And across Washington State, we've seen firsthand how the other tax extenders help actually create an environment of certainty and predictability for jobs and job creation. These are bipartisan principles that we can all get behind. Of particular importance to me is, as I said, the state and local sales tax deduction, which affects uh, many people in our state. Individuals living in other states with a state income tax are not faced with these same challenges, but Alaska, Florida, Nevada, South Dakota, Tennessee, Texas, and Wyoming are all in the same boat. And I'm sure these citizens would want to have the sales tax deduction certainty and predictability. As a result of that, a tax uh, average of $640 a deduction is real money back into people's pockets when they itemize those various tax benefits. And so we hope that this won't continue to be placed in Washington State. We need these tax extenders now. Additionally, there are other things like the New Market Tax Credit, which is a great program for encouraging investment into uh, challenging areas of our country, the Biodiesel Tax Credit, the Veterans Work Opportunity Tax Credit, a tax credit to employers to encourage uh, them to hire veterans. And we have had many of these events around Washington State talking to employers who've successfully used this tax credit. The Low Income Housing Tax Credit, I know the uh, President of the Senate probably has projects all over uh, his state that have benefited from the low-income housing tax credit, a great uh, incentive to get more affordable housing built in hard-to-serve areas and challenging areas because of high costs. The co as I mentioned, the, computer, the commuter tax benefit, all of these are tied to job creation. So instead of giving predictability and certainty on tax credits, here we are not getting our job done and we should get this done as soon as possible.
It's time for Congress to extend these important provisions and to make plans accordingly. I hope that the IRS could be given the predictability and certainty too uh, in the new year about these provisions so that we're not delaying or affecting the tax uh, season at the end of next year. So the time to act is now, and I hope my colleagues will help us uh, get these measures that usually are renewed, usually are renewed in a bipartisan fashion, done so uh, as soon as possible. So I thank the uh, President and I yield the floor.